Back for week two. Back for week two. All uh, the, some flubs and some trial and error, but we figured it out, I think. But the crackling noises still stay on. Heck, yes. I'll <laughs> fight for those crackling noises. Yeah. Come at me, society. America wants crackling noises. The number here, 844-COMEDY-9, or for cave people. 844-266-3399, if you don't know what your numbers mean in letters. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> If you're in your worn-out payphone at a truck stop. I have DirecTV. I couldn't tell you their number at all, but I know it's 1-800-DIRECTV, and I've never had to get, I've never been in a phone where that's been an issue. That's how they get you. <laughs> that's how they get your information. That's how they get everything. <laughs> what? I was trying to think of the ITT tech. 850-5050-boo-doo. Wasn't that... Was that DeVry or ITT tech? I don't... You know, it's funny. I forget them sometimes, but, but good marketing on a... Phone number is pretty impressive. Oh, I think it saves companies. Have an Empire Carpet. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Don't eat. <laughs> yeah, that one eight hundred. Call for the general. Call for the general and save some time. Yeah, there. Uh, it's it's amazing the power that advertising people have that they can get in our heads that easily. Yeah, you know, but sometimes the advertisement outweighs the product. Like you forget what the product. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to love the. Uh, do you remember these? The real men of genius. Oh, I thought that was great. They were great, but I still am not fully sure what it was for. Bud, Bud Light. Light or Coors Light? It was Bud Light. It was Bud Light? There, I grew up in Colorado. You there were a Guinness is man. A... You didn't know the competition. Sorry, but I didn't know the ins and outs <laughs> when I was in the beer game, when I was a snake oil salesman for Guinness. Um, when I grew up in Colorado, there was a diamond place called Shane Company. And the guy has such, the guy that does voiceovers has such a, like, ma, ma. Like, he sounds almost like Droopy the Dog, where he's like, the hand came blue, just off the rapper, her real name, Curry Street, one half mile east, the day 25. <laughs> there was a, a It's place, always going to be in my head. <laughs> there was a place in Philly that was, uh, it was called Robin's Eighth and Walnut. It was like, our name is our address. <laughs> but they would do a doo-wop song in the 80s. Yeah. And, uh. One of the guys' name was Jerry, and he had a diamond in his beard. That's and the song what? Would, and the song would go, "Jerry's got a diamond in his beard." And then Jerry was the, uh, the you know, the 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 bass guy. Was like, lots of people think that's really weird. <laughs> that would have to be. And you were just like, but you're like clever. <laughs> <laughs> the worst Mr. part Rob's is eighth to want it. Even you explaining that commercial to me, I would have to be him in the commercial. Where oh, like, yeah. I got a diamond in my beard. <laughs> Jerry's got a diamond in... Lots of people, people think <laughs> that's really weird. <laughs> a lot of people think... That's my whole voice. That's and what I was did, built to do. He had a diamond in his beard. And, uh, thinks, I, wonder, I wonder if we can find that uh, that commercial anywhere. Robin's Eighth and Walnut. Everyone he, uh, thinks that's kind of weird. They both had uh, they both had on suits with like the couple buttons undone. What was the crustiest... Chest bush. Local... Th was that the crustiest local thing in philly the crustiest like the one where you watched you're like oh this is just awful no no there's got to be crazy eddie crazy eddie crazy eddie's like uh like like electronics like okay. you know we're I'll, smashing pride and it was like, yeah you gotta, everyone's like, you bash up the thing everyone's locally got that one uh my, our, oh dude this is it denver's local one was <laughs> hold on before we watch <laughs> this denver's local one and andy murkface he's bringing this up after this one was deal and doug <laughs> and he had a bunch of uh, he had a bunch of car dealerships, but he dressed up like a superhero, and he'd just stand there and like act like he was flying. It was awful. But here, this is the uh, Robin's Diamonds from Philly. Oh, he is all about Robin's Diamonds. Diamonds takes the guesswork out. Rocks and Robins. Lots of people think that's really weird. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you think that's his real voice? <laughs> no. I don't no, think so no, either. The black dude from North Philly they had to bring in to do that. He's like, <laughs> oh, so, so you want me just to do this right here? All right, I'm going to voice that white guy with a beard. Am I going to get some diamonds for this? He put a diamond in his beard? Brothers don't even be doing that shit. <laughs> it's like blowing away. With it. Oh, player, player. You got that diamond up in your ear. You got that diamond face. Oh, Where's, uh, did you find Deal and Doug? Player, Merc face? Player. Uh, look for a nice, crusty Deal and Doug. We actually, we found the Shane Company commercial. All right, someone hears his voice. I'm Tom Shane, and as a direct diamond importer, I've spent decades developing close personal relationships with the diamond cutters in Tel Aviv, Antwerp, and Mumbai. Yes, I've worked very closely with Tom Shane. <laughs> negotiate diamond prices. 
but it's the way Shane Company does business that gets us the lowest prices and first pick of their best <laughs> diamonds. First, we pay them spot cash, unlike most people. <laughs> and second, even though I buy large quantities of diamonds, we still hand select them one at a time, choosing only the best cut stones with the most sparkle. All right, well you get Is it. That you get good his voice for everybody. You know, he, you know what his voice? He's got a, he's got like 1950s science video voice. Play yeah. it again, where he's like, sometimes chimpanzees would climb into the trees <laughs> to find their food. Boring school documentaries. And that's what I'm saying. It's like fifth period science right here. Shane, where are you at? Tom Shane, show yourself. Yeah, for hand boom by. Being old friends certainly helps when it's time to negotiate diamond <laughs> He's a hand prices. talker, too. But it's the way Shane oh. Company does business. It would have been great if, uh, all right, it, <laughs> that's enough of Tom Shane. It would have been great if they got Tom Shane to voice Bane. In dark <laughs> I'm Bane. Gotham <laughs> is mine. <laughs> Bring me all of your valuables. Gotham, the city is yours. Just off Arapahoe Road in Emporia. He made that whole uh, documentary about that guy, the, the Winnebago salesman. Oh, I saw that on Netflix. I didn't watch it. I can't get through it. It's boring. It does get boring. I uh, feel like you're it. telling me a documentary about a Winnebago salesman. Yeah, stalls you think. out well, story to be, You know, he's the guy who flips out. You know, the guy who famously flipped out. Oh yeah. And then, but that <laughs> got popular on like Ebom's world. But have you all uh, either from being on the East Coast or whatnot uh, ever heard of Eastern Motors? No. It sounds familiar. Oh man, uh, in the D.C. area, there's like this Eastern Motors, which is. Very big on the fact that, like, hey, you don't have to have good credit, but what makes it awesome is the fact that they bring in, like, local athletes to come in and do this really <laughs> shoddily written rap that... Oh, I think we got something does. for you, buddy. Do you? Brendan Haywood. Uh, Quentin Portis. Liberty is Coles. LeVar Arrington. <laughs> Annual Never Wars. <laughs> Mellow. Oh, Mellow. There's a lot of athletes in there. You know what's funny is there's a guy in a music studio that thought that beat was, like, amazing. Dude, you are laying down hot tracks. Yo, man, I get in this thing, and it just it all <laughs> clicks. Everything comes together. I hear auto parts, and I think athletes, and this beat just comes out of me. <laughs> He's got that from the uh, Straight Outta Compton commercial. Yo, yo, E, <laughs> that shit was dope. <laughs> Play it again. You played that shit down, son. Um, yeah, there's nothing more catchy than sh shitty commercials. What's up, buddy? What is this commercial now? Uh, if you look up David's Pizza on YouTube, it had a huge run on the internet a couple years back. It was a big internet hit. Oh man, it's terrible. I just watched. So I, I just watched Demolition Man, where they make the joke that all the commercials are like, you know, that's the music of the future. Yeah. But uh, it's really that's happening. <laughs> Demolition Man was right. We're playing it's all these commercials. That. What's that? It's kind of similar to that because it's horrible because it's modern. It's not an old commercial, and it looks like it came from, like, 1983. Yeah, it's and it's got 1.6 million views. Let's get it. I need some cheese, tomatoes, and olives, and maybe... It's that local commercial that gets your girl already. <laughs> pizza, pizza, uh. pizza, 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 pizza. Every time I want that pizza... Wait, hold on. I this sounds it. like a I love it. This sounds like a coke had made it uh, with a keyboard <laughs> and just like a half of a teen, like a half a teen. He's like, yeah, you know, what? I'm feeling pretty gassed up. You guys want some pizza? That's good, Dave. Is that on demo? <laughs> no, man. I'm playing this off. <laughs> All off the dome. <laughs> Dave's pizza. That there. That was good. That was, I mean, it sold the thing. Keep it, it going again. Let's it, play it again. Know, it just depends, background it depends if it was made ironically. Yeah, how much that means, you know what I mean? Hold on, let's get the lyrics. I need some cheese, tomatoes, and olives, and maybe even some meat. I need some pizza, 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 pizza. Every time I want some pizza, 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 pizza. I go to David's Pizza. Oh, the shoulder shimmy at the end was fucking ice cold. Wow. They should have someone come up and put a cape over him like James Brown. And where is that? It's in California, right, Tyler? Good Lord. Maybe we lost yeah. Tyler. 
It's, it's terrible. Don't look it up. You'll be depressed instantly. Oh, I mean, we just, it just made us very happy. <laughs> I want to go to Mecca now. I want to go to David's Pizza. I'm going, dude, that, song, that commercial has reached across the entire country. Bro, your song changed my life. And made me come out here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for calling in, Tyler. Thanks for having me, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm calling because of the beautiful Mount Airy Lodge. Mount Airy Lodge? I bet that's a, is that one of those fuck hotels, or is it an actual good place? Yeah. That's oh, a- God, yeah. It had, like, the glass that you could... Soak in with your lover. Or, yes. You know. Yeah, get a glass bottom boat going. The place, oh, I'll tell you a good story. Oh, one here of these it kind is. Wait, and this is like, uh, you know, it's 92, so this is like, you know. Now is the perfect time to reserve the all sports package at Mount Airy Lodge, Pocono mm-hmm. Gardens, or Strickland. Enjoy swimming, tennis, and beautiful it. accommodations, fabulous food, and a special price. Right now, this $110 Throw value is yours river. for only $75. Call one eight hundred. Look at that. <laughs> okay, they just Four save. One. They just have someone. Mount Airy Lodge. I do remember it now. <laughs> um, you know what's funny? That that wasn't what I was thinking when I said like one of those fuck places. Though I thought you were talking about one of, where you know, it's, did hey, you show want, at one of those. You want a space room where there's like a hot tub and yeah, spa- it's the round dark. bed. It's always there's a porn, round. There's porn on the TV the whole time. Yeah, that's a round bed. Oh, this is from 89. So yeah, maybe, this is oh, like, I mean, they got the, still the same chick nailing a triple backflip or front flip off the diving board. Yeah. This is more, this is far more luxury. There's no tennis courts where I'm talking about. There's still TVs with knobs, the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, like the one you're talking about, hepatitis is exchanged. Oh, this my one, God. The sheets and the you know, the blanket are all, I've stayed at them. I've, stayed, I've gone to those a bunch. Never with like, hey... Look at this one-time pig. I'm going to take to this, like, fuck motel. It's always, like, it's always, that's how white garbage I am. It's like a getaway for me. I'm like, oh, I'm going to sit in a hot tub, watch HBO. <laughs> you look forward to the amenities. You're With like, a remote control that only has up and down <laughs> channel. There's no kick or anything. You know what? I've been busting my ass. I'm really going to treat myself and go to this little cum swamp that I found in South Carolina. Just get some Wawa, just slugged in a hoagie. <laughs> sitting at a wobbly table, getting ready to fuck in a very hard bed. But you're going to just get... Get fucking hot tub water all over the carpet. (laughs) It's in the middle of carpet, the hot tub. And it's just like a ramping up for just five minutes of fucking, and then you're like, I'm going to go back and watch ESPN. (laughs) That's all, because that's all there is? Yeah, that's just it. Patrick. Yeah. I'm from the most horrible place on earth, South Jersey. Oh, (laughs) that's where Jay's from. And you had to be talking about the inn of the dog. You're goddamn right, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. White Horse Pike. It was in Cherry Hill? Right off Route 70. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. It is, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, crazy. Mirrors on the ceiling, hot tub in the room. So you've been there. It's just, it's just like real Uh, heavy hedge and woods up. uh. Patrick, admit it. You've you've done it. Talk, where it gets around. No, but you've, come on. Let's be real. No, no, I just heard all these things. You got the commercial right here. Yeah, the, oh, yeah. Why is this, this is almost like a pill commercial. He looks like one of his rehabs. The room was excellent. Very comfy in peace. Oh, these are all testaments? Testimonials? <laughs> the next one's going to be like, from the windows to the walls. <laughs> skeet, 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 skeet. <laughs> I was busting nuts and bitches all night long. Can you play that end. music again? Yeah. <laughs> Just give testimonials over that music? Yeah. That's fucking fantastic. Ah, when I was blowing her back out, <laughs> I liked that I didn't have to walk that far for the soda machine outside my door. That bed was so bouncy, I pumped so hard, I couldn't believe my dickhead didn't come out of her butthole. Yeah. I let her wear Says her... Says Tim. Her wig came off. <laughs> <laughs> Tim K, 34. I thought she was dead for seven minutes. There it is. Turns out she just passed out. Cherry Hill, New Jersey. No Patrick, shit. thank you for calling in, man. All right, thanks. Dude, that's, that's so really funny nice. that guy called out the exact fuck den you found. <laughs> yeah. No, that was. That was the one. And yeah, this girl, Nicole's mom. Nicole's mom got That's us so a fucking, she fucking. got us a goddamn, and she drove us there. It was so weird. <laughs> she dropped you off like it was the movies? No, or no, I, I drove it. She drove us there first to go, like, pay for it. That's hilarious. And so like, advance your, it for us. So they could see your faces? Yeah, but the whole thing, like, she, she had she had a, her, her mom was a sweetheart to me, but she was a screwy family. It was one of those, like, oh, you think? she was cheating on her, on, uh, her husband, who was my girlfriend's stepdad, who was, like, Looked like Tim Curry from Clue. Yeah. That's he a, looked just like him. He was a bread delivery guy. I used to go with him once in a while. Dude, that's bread delivery. That still happens, right? 
Yeah, has to happen. Whereas the bread, they don't all. You're like, wait own. a second! I thought Subway makes their own now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only place that gets bread for you. <laughs> it's a white trash. Where else needs bread? <laughs> talking local commercials shitty local commercials because that's never been talked about on the radio before but we were talking about the ones we love yeah the absolutely. ones that are and there's well, nothing better than a local new york commercial because there's like the hillside honda that one's obviously great yeah where it's like the guy hitting on the girl but he's on a laptop do you ever see that yeah. one and she's like, I'm waiting for Hillside Honda to open. And she's like buying a car. And he's like, can I use? She goes, what, my phone number? He goes, no, your laptop for Hillside Honda. You're like, you animals stay open. <laughs> 30 minutes, the dealership's going to be open. Hillside Honda. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, hey. But if you're not. Because I want to buy it. <laughs> yeah. But that's why I love New York commercials, because a lot of them have that, like, thick burrow. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, you're not a real New Yorker. But um, Adam Parsons from Twitter said we needed to watch Corner Furniture on YouTube from Queens. Living rooms, bedrooms, dinettes, oh yeah, come shop with us, be sure, we're talking corner furniture. I'm so excited. the best, forget about the rest, you like us, we're sure, we're talking corner furniture, you want it, you need it. We got it. Hey, hey, let's dance. We got it. Do you know what I'm no realizing? This day. is the first reference that like a Seth MacFarlane cartoon is made that I didn't get the reference until right now. Can you do Corner Furniture Cleveland? Just type in the word Cleveland up there. Oh, they did a they did a corner. So this is a famous one. Uh, yeah, I guess this is famous because it, was, it can't be. I mean, it must be. Local you watch New York. Cleveland show? I don't. So yeah, they, absolutely. Uh, maybe I can't. Maybe I don't have it. Yeah, I'd probably taking off. Because it's just like it's just like a minimal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So this, this is the one where he yeah, sells it. We got it. You need it. You'll find it. It's just like it's just like a minimal. Hey hey. You heard me. Come <laughs> shop at Simply Market. Stoven. It's just like it's just like. That's one of those. When that show made that, there's probably so many people that were like, I know exactly. Yeah. But then like people like you and me are hey, like, oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Dinettes. Oh, yeah. You can find them at the market. We talking about flea market. Montgomery. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. Rick in Texas. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Rick. What's, What's going on, guys? What's up, What's man? Going, Rick? Now, you live in, what part of Texas, my friend? I am the very bottom of Texas. I'm originally from Michigan, though, but I lived down here for the past 20 years. Okay, and you said local commercials out there just have to be. Yeah, so there's a lot of Hispanic ones, of course, who live down here near the border and everything, but there was one that was just really, really annoying. You probably, I don't know if you can even find it anymore, because what ended up happening was this guy's name, he called himself Crazy Willie. Of course, because he can't be mentally sane, William. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reasonable <laughs> Bill. <laughs> I'm going to sell you a couch. And he's selling those appliances and stuff. And so for years and years, I saw this guy. And then this one day, his commercial stopped going on. And I didn't even know why. So I'm going to get a little bit of morbid on you. I used to work in a funeral home. Okay. And, I, and so here comes Crazy Willie. What had happened? Uh, he was crazy enough to be a pedophile. And they killed, somebody killed him while he was in jail. What? Wait, wait, back up. Yeah. Did you ever look at the naked dead bodies? He had to. Uh, I had to. I had to, I had to embalm him. Yeah, yeah. had. Do you, you ever like? Uh, <laughs> did you ever like fun dick slap someone? Like dick slap. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dead body. Uh, it gets weird, weird when the dead body gets a little boner and you just gotta, gotta what? Look at it. <laughs> Wait, a, a dead body can get a boner? I remember in Clerks. Well, she if, you're, had sex. Oh, if you're hot enough, <laughs> <laughs> like, you killed your self esteem. You get your self esteem killed. I feel bad for I can't Rick. Get this it's, dead body to bone up for nothing. Rick's I'm like, rubbing on him all night. Yeah, Rick's like, I gotta hit the gym. Why? I'm not popping those bones like I used to. <laughs> This is always funny. I always, I always like it when local guys are super confident. When they're very, very confident in their product, like they don't know that there's, like they think it's national. I can't think of any, but I know there's ones that have like an old, like gaze guy with like his hot wife or something. You know, what I mean, like there's usually car commercials. I can't think of one like specifically right now. But you know, what I'm talking about one of like, my favorite ones. Look, was... like, like they're so confident because he's like, look at my life. I live the greatest life because I sell cheap <laughs> products to people like you who are in need. This is karma. You buffoons. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a guy in Denver named Jake Jabs, and he owned America's Furniture Warehouse. Maybe it's national now. I'm finding out Tom Shane was cheating on the state of Colorado the Killing entire it. time. But Jake Jabs 
all his commercials were him playing with exotic animals <laughs> on couches and shit, like white tigers. And he'd be like, oh, look at me. I'm just Jake Jabs. <laughs> is this it here? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss our big furniture sale on right now here at American Furniture Warehouse. He's just being licked by two tigers. <laughs> it was lions. <laughs> lions. What was the what was the commercial for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for furniture? Uh, yeah, I'm so confident in my furniture. I'm going to put my hands in the life of. A How's your new couch? Like, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it's great since it was tested out by two lions and Jake Jabs. <laughs> <laughs> this thing had 500 pounds. Licking on. his face. Why would he? What does that prove? That was all. Look, the one who just pawed at it. <laughs> Don't miss our big furniture sale on right now here at American Furniture Warehouse. But I love the fact that the guy, the animal expert, clearly comes into the frame. It's not going. It's not going. Stop. Stop. <laughs> yeah, stop. Jake, that's not nice. No, I mean, that pawing at him is going to be funny. He goes, right he goes, there. Yeah, because I'm Jake Jabs and my furniture. Holy shit! He gets scalped <laughs> by like one paw whack. The gargly blood. The, <laughs> 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 that side bite. <laughs> where they come with the side of their mouths, the kill bite. Oh, shit. He's like, oh, I love it. Come check out this sectional couch. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and the two end chairs come out to be full lounge back. Oh, son of a bitch. Let go of me, line. I'm Jake Jabs. I could get you a deal on a lazy boy. <laughs> Jake it, Jabs. Jake Jabs, man. The animal. I call, I'm call. i going to start calling him the Beastmaster. Oh, but uh, so Carrie in Indiana. Hey guys, you've been cracking me up today. Oh, thank you. Telling you. Uh, so we have a guy who runs a car dealership here in Indiana, and he always has some kind of gimmick. Okay. Like every time there's a sale of something different, there was one where. What's his wait? Real quick, what's his name so we can try to find it before? Bob Rohrman. Bob Rohrman. Uh huh. It's R O H R. R O H R. Um. So. And he had one that was car wars, and so they had lightsabers, and he was, like, fighting people off. Okay, so, th I mean, this guy throws a little money behind the production, at least. If oh, he's no, it's really cheesy. It's really <laughs> awful. And the, then, every commercial, he roars his name. Oh, because so of like, Bob Rohrman. Oh. Now, the worst thing about it, is that I'm actually distantly related to the guy. You're in the Roar... You're, <laughs> you come from Roarman money? <laughs> of the Indiana Roarmans? <laughs> yes. so, oh, what a prestigious life you've had. <laughs> day chopper, day chopper. Yeah, oh, what boarding school did you go to with all that Roarman money? <laughs> hey, cruel intentions. <laughs> Did you have to wear a book on your head the first five years learning posture? Bob Roman's not going to have any distant cousin walking around with bad posture. Um, honey, did you trash Uncle Bob on the radio? Because you know that's going to cut off our money supply. <laughs> honey, I know Uncle Bob's a weirdo, but in this family, we come together. Those commercials feed us, and I need you to not go on some talk show. But So you're related to him? Yeah, he's like my dad's third cousin or something. I've met him once in my whole life. Did he roar at you when you met him? <laughs> no, but people constantly do that to me. Because you're related to him? They heckle you with yeah, your third I cousin? Yeah, have that last name. Oh, you have They're the like, Terry Roarman. Oh. Oh, your last name is Roarman. That's yeah. hilarious. Good for you. That's uh, <laughs> you're living in the Roarman dynasty. <laughs> oh yeah, fantastic. It's one of those towns where it's like it's you live in Roarman County yeah. on Roarman Street. <laughs> now there's a problem apparently with Roarman's son. He's got an infatuation with women that aren't necessarily as sharp as they should be. <laughs> Do your kids go to Roarman Elementary? Oh, yeah. Now you know where the money from Roarman Elementary. I don't know why they're southern all of a sudden. Uh, they are, are they? Oh, no, Indiana. No, Midwestern. In Indiana. Hey, Gary. <laughs> Bob Rohrman's third cousin's over ye. Yeah, the king of savings. Well, thank you. I mean, it's an honor to have a member of the Rohrman clan call into our show. The Rohrmans. Oh, yeah, thank you for calling. You have a good one. You too. Take care, okay. And we're going to play your fifth cousin's commercial here when he roars. Lion. Bobcat. Uh. King of the jungle. King of savings. 
get to Bob Roman dealerships during our annual Spring Ten <laughs> Sales event. Step out of the wild and Hold get on. to the out. <laughs> That guy's on his way out, <laughs> someone, dude. Jesus. Someone close in the Roman I dynasty. I saw him before I heard him, and I did not think he was going to be that frail. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> Am I going on a real safari? I remember when they made the first car. <laughs> Your Tucker had a dream. <laughs> oh, the crazy laugh. Big is no laughing matter. At the Bob Roman Auto Group, over 7,000 new and used cars online at BobRorman.com. Oh, he even There's says only it. Only one, Bob Roman. <laughs> <laughs> He sounds, he's almost got like a little bit of drunk mouth, where he's like, he's like he's uh, Dudley Moore and Arthur, where he's like, I'll just, I'll just, <laughs> oh, are we done? You, just, you look like you want to kiss me right now. I don't know about this game. <laughs> I just want to kiss your mouth. That was fucking great. <laughs> That's a Bob Roman Can commercial. I? Can Let's see. You look. What if she just said yes to that? And they just went full blown. <laughs> hot fucking sticky makeout. <laughs> I don't like, care about this stupid old game. Let them watch it. Jet Schmitz. Let them watch if they want to watch. Yeah, here he goes. We got him. Presses me the same thing it presses them. What does it mean to you now when the team is struggling? I want to kiss you. I couldn't care less about oh the team struggling. By the way, Chick was like Willie Tomlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got Bill Warman now. <laughs> Yeah, it's Bill Roman. Oh, God. Do you guys want to talk? I just want to kiss you so bad. Yes, I Dakota in Chicago has a commercial. That I kind of want to find out what the hell it is. You there, it. Dakota? How you guys doing? Good, I man. that was going to be a chick. Me too. <laughs> Sorry, Dakota. I thought it's supposed actually, to be Dakota if it's a boy. I remember the Bob Roman commercials, too. You do? Those so they go up. My area as well. So they go all the way the up to Chicago. Oh, yeah, no, they made it to Chicago. But the one I wanted to bring up is Eagleman Auto. Eagleman, Eagleman Auto. Yeah, Eagleman, one word. Yeah, the car companies seem to pull it up because that's always the guy who owns them wants to be in the commercial. Yeah, because he, he's he got... He has to be. Listen, you have oh, to have a certain... But you have to have a certain amount of arrogance to also sell used cars. You have to have, like, a... I'm so awesome... You're going to buy this piece of shit from me. <laughs> a certified hunk of shit. <laughs> I'm going to send you uh, home in three tons of donkey shit. No, it's Toyota certified. Like, no, it's that guy who works at Toyota certified. <laughs> yeah, I paid Don't him. Care. But you said that Eagle Man, what were you saying, Dakota? It's one word. I mean, this guy's got Oh, no, we got it. Yeah, we we got, got it right here. What's that? Do you have insurance on this car? <laughs> no. It must These be porn stars. <laughs> I've got something <laughs> for you. That is. Does he shit on the car? What? He lays an egg. Whoa. Oh, look at those low rates. Those girls both had to suck his dick for the roll. <laughs> I guarantee. God damn T it. Hey, uh, hey, Tina, Karen, can I see you in the office? Uh, listen, we want to do a commercial, but how much can I trust you? Do you have any acting experience? Listen, no. Okay, okay. We spent, all the, around that. we spent most of the money on the egg and the Eagle Man suit. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to need you to be a team player. There's a guy dressed like an eagle. Like, he's like, dressed like, like um, the eagle in Ace Ventura for the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Yeah, except he's not wearing uh, any uniform of any sort. He's an eagle. Yeah, and he takes a he shits out an egg on top of the car. Yeah, as as you heard with the worst acting of all. And the time. egg gives birth for some reason to an ostrich <laughs> holding a contract for a different car. That'd be funny if they're like. That's how it happens. He goes. That's how we do it down here at Eagle Man. <laughs> Eagle Man, we wreck your car and then we give you another one that's not yours. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Dakota. That commercial <laughs> is awful. <clears throat> that was. I, I'll watch that. Several more times. <laughs> I want to talk to Brandon in Indiana. Brandon, Indiana, you there, buddy? No, that's uh, yeah. Phil. Is that Phil? Yeah, this is Phil. Hey, Phil, we'll get right back to you. Hold on real quick. We want to talk. We're, right. we're still getting some kinks out at the bonfire. Sometimes mushrooms are burned. <laughs> 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 hey, 
Hey, Brandon, you there? Yeah, I'm there. Hey, what's up, man? So what's I want to know what the hell this commercial is. Okay, it's a guy that sells furniture out of Bloomington, Indiana, and he uses this uh a poster like a life size version of himself. And like, it's okay, like a yeah, head. like a fathead. Well, uh, kind of, but it's a stand up poster board. He has it in a store, and uh, uh, he has these really cheesy commercials that he usually talks about that or his flat Steve guy. But uh, it became so popular that actually some people from the town walked in there one day and stole it out of the store. They took flat Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Did that make TMZ? <laughs> America's most Flesty! wanted. No, but it made it to the front paper of the Bloomington Herald. No Did it shit. really? So that was big news yeah. that Flat Steve got ganked by a couple of really funny people. Oh yeah, I wish I would have done it. I wish they. I would have been better had they taken Flat Steve than taken him around Bloomington and done funny things with him and sent like uh, kidnapper notes where you cut out all the letters of a magazine. <laughs> and be like, oh, that would be hilarious. Do you miss, do you miss Flat Steve? <laughs> I bet you miss your flat Steve. I just want to hear him. Yeah. Just let me hear him. This bank carp. <laughs> oh, my God, that's him. <laughs> now, he might not come back to you uh, all at once unless we get what we want. <laughs> savings. <laughs> we want savings. <laughs> 60 to 70% off retail. <laughs> not on a holiday weekend. <laughs> Unmarked. I can't make it out on Lincoln's birthday. <laughs> we want to save on an ottoman. Listen, could you please stay open until 8 p.m.? <laughs> on Sunday. Well, thanks for calling in, Brandon. I want to talk to Connor in Texas. Connor. Because I'm going to take a guess. Connor. Hey, guys. How are you doing? What's up, dude? Hey, quick question. If Is what you're about to bring up a local law firm? It is indeed a local yes! law firm. Yes! You know Fucking this. Fucking call that shit just by the name. I don't know who this is, but who are you talking about? I'm talking about this guy, this uh, injury lawyer... Jim Adler. He would come on TV and he just had these horrible local commercials. It was uh, bad CGI in the background and he would just scream at you. His tagline was the Texas Hammer. <laughs> and he repeated about a dozen times. I'm Jim Mandler. Play fair and hand over a fair award. They must be hammered and hammered before they see the light. I'm Jim Adler. The Texas Hammer and I get results. Spokesperson for Jim Adler. Can you prove that? Just listen to this. <laughs> I'm hammered and got to buy $140,000 after she fractured the back. And has it. Shove you dumb cow. <laughs> I want to take the other. Shut up. Suck it, you fat turd! <laughs> We're not here for your horse shit. I'm here to win you money. I don't even like you personally. I'm just here to win. Button your top button, slut. <laughs> Go find Jesus. I'm sick of peddling your whoredom on this commercial. You shouldn't have opened your legs in the first place. I still want a 50 grand. <laughs> Conception starts at six. Good night. The hammer has dropped. <laughs> He just comes with a bunch of oof, like ultra conception. Conception starts at flirting, you dumb pig. <laughs> Dress like that out of the house without a husband, you should be beaten with stones. <laughs> like, what? The Texas hammer. Maybe Arabs do have some good ideas. <laughs> uh, play that commercial again. Tell it from the beginning. Oh, I was worked up. <laughs> hand over a fair award. They must be hammered and hammered before they see the light. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and I get results. Spokesperson for Jim Adler. Can you prove that? Just listen to this. <laughs> Shut I'm up, you stupid bitch. Fuck off. Dollars after she fractured her back and had a collapsed lung. The proof Collapse is in the money. Man. Call me right now. It's hammer time. 713-777-4000. 713. Hey, dude, that Connor. You no just black first man. <laughs> yeah, he was, and no blusher smash. <laughs> I don't take EBT or blusher smash. <laughs> you cannot pay me with a Macy's gift card. <laughs> Pro bono doesn't exist in my dialect. If you want me to work for it, you better have some money. <laughs> right here, I will accept guns and sometimes ammunition as payment. Oh, holy Dude, shit. Connor, you just gave us the greatest gift of all. That was fantastic, buddy. Now, this was years ago, but uh, his commercial, you can probably find it on YouTube. It's O R B Y, the Supervan Man, and he's dressed in like a Superman outfit, and he's doing this ridiculous dance. It's just, it's Buddy, we got it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my yeah. god. The first frame alone <laughs> is amazing. 
Oh. Superman Man has a Superman Man. He has Orby. 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 Mini Man. Full size band. High top band. Only Orby offers you super quality bands with every auction from just $16,995. Get a band with a band. Superman Man has a Superman Man. He has Orby. Get a band. Yes, you can. The band has a Superman Man. He has Orby. Well, I, I wasn't going to hurt him. I was just going to play with him. Yeah, he looks like. <laughs> He looks like a dad dancing at a wedding. <laughs> he looks like a he looks like a guy's like a like a half wit. <laughs> just yeah. like, oh no, he's hanging out with you. you I got one touch the puppet too hard. <laughs> Orby, get away from that dog. You know you're gonna kill it. Can I have the extra dessert if I let him go? Guys, but why would you be mad at me? I'm telling you a very cheap bag. <laughs> Orby, the Superman man. He just walks out. I won't be a Superman man. You know Orby, that. you cannot wear your Superman costume to the grocery store. Why not? Why not? Orby, we talked about this. Because I'm a super boy. I'm 35. I'm I know, boy. and you're my super boy. <laughs> but you can't wear it to the grocery store, buddy. Can I ride in the cart? We can, if you take off the Superman, I'll let you ride in the cart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then they gave him a business. <laughs> Or be the Superman man. I don't know, man. I uh, Thank you for the call, by the way, Phil. Thanks for calling yeah, in. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you, um, man. Have a good day, my friend. I, I was I thought we were going to turn the corner to local law, uh, local um, law firms. <laughs> All local law firms easily. We don't get paid until we get money for you, dude. But Jim the Hammer Adler, the Texas <laughs> Hammer. That's yeah. That'll that, be that's that'll the be best one so far. <laughs> Can you prove it to me? Suck a dick! <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight you in your own home and win a lawsuit against you because I'm the Texas Hammer. Uh, we are riding these commercials the whole way. Everybody. So wait, what's this commercial you're... Well, back home, I live I live in Clarksburg, West Virginia. Beautiful. Perfect. And we have what's known as Grandma's House Furniture. And what we have there is a cross-dressing old guy doing the commercials. Okay. <laughs> And how long have these been going on? Oh, my God. Since I was a kid and I'm 37 now. So this dude was way ahead of the wave as far oh, as accepting yeah. transgender, accepting oh, yeah. uh, transvestites. <laughs> this guy was progressive as shit. Oh, yeah, the funny thing I think about it. Oh, this is super 80s because it's like made. Why is he sawing? So in the commercial, this guy's dressed as a grandma and he's sawing through a dresser. <laughs> grandma, make you better, baby. Yeah. Look at him. Stop at grandma's house. The big red barn, Nutter Ford. Oh, it was in a barn? Through confusion. Wait, can you wow. play that back again? Play that end part back again? Let's cut through confusion. Let's go. Oh, she's cutting through confusion. I mean, I don't understand that at all, <laughs> and I'm more confused because... You have a boner? <laughs> yeah, I, and I am rock hard. I've got a lot of confusing <laughs> feelings right here. Grandma, I don't know why I want to go to a barn and beat <laughs> off right now. Joey, thanks for the boners, my friend.